Hello everybody and welcome back for yet another Sunday look around the yard and gardens. Once again this week we are starting up here in the Sand Dollar Shrine because I'm actually going to harvest it and it looks like Shox will join me for a quick tasting video and then I can start drying up those seeds to send out to so many of you. On that note, some of you have yet to email me with your postal information. So that's puckspeppers at gmail.com. I'll put that along the bottom here so you can get the spelling right but it's spelt like it sounds so yeah let's check out this pepper get to harvesting uh, take some weight off of these branches and uh, find out what we're tasting here yeah see that that is what I deal with every time I'm in this room bet you if I open the door there's a cat attached to that what a surprise so yeah, the bouncing, the thumping on the door, that's that. This, however, completely different story. There's an awful lot of red on there that's going to be in the strainer by the end of this clip. Well, by the end of this video anyway. And then I think might be time to give this thing another little batch of nutrients. I'll show you all what I've been using there. May not be the best choice, but it's what I have. And I'm not going to go out and buy something new till I used up what I've got. I just wasn't raised that way. So, let's harvest. Now I was kind of hoping to be able to get a decent little fast forward clip of this particular harvest. But, because of the size of the plant and the size of the room, I just can't get the angles I need for that. So we'll get a little bit of this clip here, and then I'll show you what the harvest looks like when it's done. I'm going to have to go retrieve that one, aren't I? Alright, we'll get back to it when this is all done. Well, that's a different look. A little more obvious now that it's time for me to water, but a couple of oranging ones still left on there, quite a few green ones on there. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get some more flowers coming out of this thing soon. So, yeah, cool. There we have the, the harvest of these sand dollar peppers. Not a huge harvest considering how much time has gone into this plant, but I tell you what, sure I'm going to enjoy drying these and growing a whole bunch more of them in the future now that I've got seeds again. It's not too bad, it's just not quite what I was expecting. Alright, so here we are, we have our basket full of peppers. Well, as full as it's going to get. I'm going to go for a smaller-ish one because I want to kind of save some of the seeds for us and for you guys. Shox is going to go for a big one because she's all big and brave and stuff. I don't know, pick your pepper. Well, pick whatever pepper you want. Do I'm you have your seed pepper ass. put aside already? No, well most of these are going to be seed peppers. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, just go for the pepper. I don't... Okay. Take a pepper, any pepper. That one's mine. And this one is mine, there you go. They're about the same size actually, so that's funny. But, here we go. It's a nice crispy crunchy pepper. It tastes kind of like a red pepper off the hop. Mm hmm. Oh. Beautiful seed count inside this one, so I'm just going to nibble around it, I think. Uh, me too. As we know from Dave's pepper tastings, uh, seeds are really just bitter, not heat. I'm starting to get it a little bit in the back of the throat now. Mm hmm. I guess it's like oils, maybe? Yeah. That bite was definitely the spiciest bite I've had of this whole pepper. Oh, it's building. Yeah. It's not a um, an insanely hot pepper by any means. It's quite lovely. It is quite lovely. It's a good... Uh, I refer to this kind of pepper as an after spice. Mm-hmm. As compared to one of those kick in the face with a, a pepper. Mm-hmm. Golf shoe kind of spices. I just seed set up. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So where I hit the seam right there? Mm-hmm. <sighs> You'll be fine. She's fine. Don't worry. Oh. We have milk downstairs. Everything's okay. So there we go. Oh. I would definitely de describe it as still, like I did the first time we test tasted one of these, as more of a spice than a heat. It is a delightful pepper. The, mostly they are a little on the small side which makes them kind of complicated to dry after you de-seed them because you got to cut them in half and then they become these little tiny nugs that get stuck in the grinder. But there we are. 
I will be deseeding the vast majority of those and sending them off to the people that have given me uh, postal information, just saying. All right, well, thank you for joining me and tasting this particular pepper. And we are off to the main gardens to see what's growing on out there. Stick around. And you know what pairs well with a nice long-lasting afterburn is something super sweet like a homegrown berry. These things are doing insanely well. I'm very, very happy with that. Going to need to build them a new container, I think. But we'll get to that in time. First, I'm going to enjoy this delicious strawberry. Well, we kind of ate a little bit of time already with that tasting, but look at this turnip. This thing's huge. Probably well past the time I should have harvested it for maximum flavor, but I think at this point we're just waiting to see how much bigger this thing's going to get. The leaf is not cooperating with me. But anyway, moving on beside that over here. Smack the camera. Moving on beside that over here we have the billy goat pepper. These ones turned out really, really tiny, but um, I guess they're ready to taste anyway because it certainly looks ripe. The ones in the front aren't ripening as fast, but are much, much larger peppers, so that's interesting. Speaking of ready to taste tests, these are theoretically Sugar Rush Cream Peppers from Dave. Um, a little worried about some potential crossbreeding. Sorry about the tractor in the background there. Let me show you what they're doing. There he goes. They're just doing a quick spray on the wheat there. Probably a little worried about what they're actually spraying on there, but such is life. I live by a field. Looks pretty though. Big old sea of wheat back there. You just kind of ignore the fence with the morning coffee. Pretend it's all your yard, you know? Quite delightful. Anyway, garden. Beside that uh, pepper here, we have the cantaloupes. This one's finally getting a bit of a cantaloupe texture to the outside, so I guess I didn't get honeydews. But we've got one there. We got one growing over there. There's a little cluster of them up here. So, might actually get some of these to try. And that one's getting some texture too. I checked out the tag. It doesn't say how big this particular variety gets. So I'm just gonna wait until either it's, you know, environmentally time to harvest everything, or this thing just looks a little bit more like a cantaloupe slash muskmelon. I guess they got lots of names. And then we'll uh, cut this puppy open, find out what it tastes like too. Also in the world of ready to taste peppers, we have these Cajun Bells. Picked these up as a starter plant from, uh, I think it was Home Depot. But, looking forward to giving them a try. Heard good things about them, so that'll be nice. Behind that we've got the Candy Apple Pepper. Look at the size of this guy here. Not quite ready to go yet. Picture shows it red, so I'm gonna wait on that one, but that's promising. There's another good sized pepper back there as well. So maybe Shox will get to join me in that tasting. We shall see if she's got the trust left after today's sand dollar. In that same garden patch we've got the Hungarian wax pepper, hot wax pepper. Definitely did take some color so that is ready for a tasting as well. And beside that I keep forgetting the name of this one. What is it? Lemon Dream. Finally looking a little more lemony. So I guess that's ready for a tasting. I'm going to try and get a few of these done over the next week or so. Stick around if you enjoy that sort of behavior. And back there, in the basically Barassica patch, these Crimson Hot Peppers are definitely ready for a tasting. Three, four on there for sure. Doesn't look like I'm going to get any more out of this plant for the season. Bought it as a start. Paid like, I don't know, I think two bucks for it. Not entirely sure I'm getting my money's worth out of that, but there's the joy of growing that comes along with it too, so there's something to be said for that. I also bought these three little habaneros. Don't think I'm getting anything out of them. But there are some nice shapes in there, so I might try and save one for a basement jungle plant. We shall see. After my success with that sand dollar growing it inside under the wrong spectrum, I'm super excited. And I basically want to bring everything in, but I know that's not going to work. And here's that pepper I showed you from last week. Apparently it should get to a kind of a brownie color when it's ready. And they're used for moles. But look at the weight on that thing. It just will not hold itself up anymore. Should get a steak for this one. Because that can't be good for the roots. But, some good pepper weight on it all the same. 
Not bad, not bad. This is one of the ones that I started downstairs and it is actually producing so I'm going to want to try and make sure I get more of those growing for next year. Going to have to find out what a mole is but I like spicy food so I got no problem experimenting there. And this beauty of a plant here is the El Oro de Ecuador. It's got quite a few nice looking little peppers on there. Not taking any color yet. All things in time. They do have a few weeks left. It's getting a little bit colder at night, but they've, they've still got a little bit of time for me. Oh, here, check out this beetle on the eggplant. Saw this guy the other day. How funky is that? Very cool. And I think that is where I'm going to wrap it up for this particular weekend update. I'm going to thank you all for sticking around. Like I said, there will be some pepper tastings coming up in the next week or so, because there are certainly lots of them ready to go. And I know you all like to see us suffer together, so I will try and drag shocks into as many of those as I can. I am a little worried about that so-called sugar rush cream, because it has some telltale signs, you know, wrinkles, bumps, things like that. In my experience, don't usually indicate a super sweet pepper, so... Yeah, I might have to label that tasting as a cross question mark or something. But either way, coming up soon so stick around and uh, yeah much love to y'all I will see you guys next week for sure but probably before then so yeah bye